Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's episode, tutorial number two, we're going to do policies and groups. So before you start anything, you really want to go to your policies and make sure you turn this one on. So in the beginning that everybody in your tribe helps, including children and old people. This is important, but you can change it later. Labor time you can change as well if you want to. But that might impact on your happiness and your pregnancy rate. Rationing I never change. But when you're in trouble with food, you can always change this one. Now groups are important before you start. So that you have people to do different stuff that you need. Before you can start your village. So the first groups you would want. Is a crafting group. Fishing group. Free gathering groups. And the hunting group. Now the gathering groups usually. You change one of them. And you make it food. Let's just change that one. Make one for food. You make the second one. I usually call it raw. They are the guys that's going to gather my materials. And then the last one. I usually call builders. They are the guys that's going to keep your camp or your village running. And then hunting is self-explanatory. Now the new update made it a lot easier. So you can see all your workers or people that you have. We'll see I have nine adults, one old person. And then I have um, six children. So currently idol I have 16 people. But I think currently I can use only 15 of them. So when you go to your groups, you usually at craftsmen at 2 in the beginning. Just to get things started. Fishing guys, let's start with 1 for now. Food, let's start with 3. Raw material, also free. Your builders, also free. So we're not going to put hunters now because we don't have tools for that so let's start off and we'll see how many of our children can work and we will then add more people to the area so that's what you do to start your village is you add your people up divide it into your groups with your policies and usually your people should automatically go in and you can then start start your village. Usually it takes a day. Or as soon as you give them jobs. They will start. So after you have your group. Crafting you would want them to craft rope. You can give them let's say 10 to start. But they will not start until you have fiber. Plant fiber. Your food guys. You tell them. What food you want. Currently we want rosy. We have rosy beer. Your raw guys. So for your fire you will need wood and stone. So you can tell these guys to gather stone. And for your building guys to help out in the beginning. Because they are not going to build anything now. Is collect wood or sticks. So there you will see the groups will divide in. They will show you here there's, there's something wrong. It's because you don't have plant fiber. But now you can see all the other guys are, are put in their groups. So currently we have 10 people. And we still can add 5. So let's add 1 to building... One to raw, one to food, and this two will, will be put in as soon as there's plant fiber, which we are not going to do now. So after you have added all the people that you want to, now you can start, but that will be our next episode. So very important, do your policies in the beginning, get your policies right, get your groups ready. And then you should be ready to start gathering and start building. See you guys in the next episode. 